of college football history as we crown this season's national champion. There's been so much that's gone into getting here, twists and turns, and now it builds to this, the battle for supremacy. And these two teams have survived the expanded playoff grind. They have battled through a regular season, multiple playoff victories, all sorts of challenges and adversity, and they've arrived at this moment to battle for that precious trophy. As we'll see a team from the Big Ten, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, taking on a team from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here as always by Kirk Curbstreet. Kirk, everything has been building to this. It's time for the national championship. Let's crown a champion. Kickoff team is out there, and you can feel the energy. One game to determine the national championship. And he's going to bring this out from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. So the Nebraska Cornhuskers offense comes on the field first today. Well, here we go. The energy in this building is absolutely amazing, Kirk. We are just 60 minutes away from crowning a new national champion in college football. And think about it as a player, this is really what you dream about. This is what you work towards, having an opportunity to get to the national championship. Both these teams have worked hard. Now they're here. Let's see how it plays out. The freshman quarterback showing what it can, and he's got The guys up front lined up. It's first down. And now the handoff. And just a short gain this time. They're able to get him down. Well, the defensive coordinator this week, all we telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. And the one moves the ball up to the 33. It's not a huge gain here, but if you add up multiple runs like that throughout the course of a game, by the fourth quarter, you're going to start to see that affect the defense. Let's it go quickly. Cannot connect incomplete and now fourth down. The Huskers will bring their punt team onto the field. Gosh, Chris, I just love this atmosphere. The home field advantage on full display. The defense flying around with energy. Nice job there on that third down of using the energy from the crowd to make that stop. So the Buffaloes offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. And with such a dangerous wide receiver on the field here, puts a lot of stress in the secondary. This strong safety kirk maybe not necessarily builds as a great coverage guy. He's going to have to be big today. Yeah, he really is, Chris. He's known for his physicality. This safety's going to have to do a good job of cleaning up tackles, but also being an extra guy to play keep away. He's good at doing both, but this receiver has great ball skills and the ability to break away with speed. Going to be a unique matchup to follow. Looks like he didn't get the snap off in time. That'll cost you five yards. Quarterback unaware of the play clock. That'll cost them five. First down here for this offense. To throw. It's Sanders. Makes a quick grab. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yard again. Getting set. Here's second down. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Oh, he doesn't hang on off the deflection there. It's going to bring up a third down play. Just a great play on the ball by the defensive back. Getting a hand on it and tipping it up into the air. Boy, anytime you see a tip go up, Often that defense is thinking, interception. This one falls to the ground, but the next tip ball could be going the other way. So on their first drive of the game, they'll go for it in their own territory. Trying for a fourth down completion. Looking for the wide out. Makes the catch, and the offense will keep this drive going. Well, that's an aggressive approach by this offensive coordinator deciding to go for this on fourth down. The quarterback makes him look like a genius. Great throw on that ball, and a nice first down for this offense. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Second down after that run on the previous play. 
quarterback drops back. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw that time. And now third down coming up. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. On third down, he drops to throw. Signs with the throw. Finds room at the 30. Tackle made after a big game. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big game for this offense. The Buffaloes pick up first down yards to keep the drive going. They'll test the right side here. Tackled way behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose seven yards. Because this is what I love to see from the defense. Because the linebackers are scraping, doing their job. But you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Some hard running there through a tackle. Well, it's second down and forever. You know they're going to throw the ball. They want to throw the ball, but to the credit of the defense, there's just nothing open. How about this quarterback? Instead of throwing the ball away, and who picks up some big yards? They got a real shot here now on third down. already has one fourth down conversion. They do it for a second time. To throw, it's Sanders. The pass is intercepted. Not much room in that return. Tackled at the 